Peter Chang for Macho Cave TV and welcome to part two of how to airbrush your RC car and we've just put in the body post in the last video and everything is lined up perfectly now we're going to go ahead and wash the RC car and I just want to point out to you that this is also the step that uh, I see a lot of uh, RC car painters uh, a lot of guys would actually uh, start marking in their designs and whatnot um, and I generally don't like to do that because um, just through the process of washing the car um, you tend to you tend to erase out some of the designs also uh, um, if you have some of the uh, vinyl graphics overlaid as a mask I find that sometimes I accidentally uh, pull out the the masking um, I like to use uh, Dawn dishwash soap basically to remove any kind of like grease that might be still stuck in from the molding uh, when when these things are vacuum formed so essentially uh, you're washing out the the backside of the Lexan body so that you could actually remove any kind of uh, residue or, or grease that that gets stuck in there when it's vacuum formed and I'm just speeding up this washing process because you know it's kinda of boring watching me uh, essentially wash wash a, a car it's like washing dishes in a sense but I'm just gonna go ahead and just wash out both sides and I'm just gonna put it on on here and I'm just gonna let everything just air dry out now if you're impatient you could actually just you know grab a towel and and start uh, drying out everything but just the uh, main thing is just to watch out for fingerprints I do have some scrap pieces of Lexan left over and the reason why I'm washing these as well is that I could I could actually try on some different paints and see what happens when I paint paint it and let it dry uh, and I only do this for paints that I'm not familiar with so same process just add in some Dawn dish soap and now it doesn't have to be like Dawn dish soap you could use whatever dish soap you you have at home uh, I, I just kind of favor Dawn you could actually use other cleaners like uh, you know simple green for example is also another very popular cleaner as well too but in a sense this is a this is a great time-saving tip is that uh, uh, sometimes you're mixing your own custom colors and you're not sure if it's gonna actually look great or or uh, work out the right way uh, if you if you take some scrap pieces of Lexan and you take them through the same washing process and you you uh, paint them uh, it should have the same results so that's what I'm doing here is just creating some scrap pieces of Lexan and I could try out some of these colors off camera to make sure that everything is going to be painting okay thanks for watching and remember everything matters